Welcome to Chewing the Cud. In a week that's brought you more news about, well, you know what I'm going to refer to, we're here to bring you a roundup of showbiz, a handful of stories from the internet, and not forgetting our life lesson. But before we clasp onto that, we bop over to the man who couldn't hear the word bop without thinking a 90s classic banger, mbop, it's Lee. Mbop, bidi da bop, boo diddly up ba doo bop ba ba do yeah. yeah. What happened to them? Yeah. Um, they, they still release music. Do they? Yeah. One of them grew up hot. Oh, just one? Just one. One out of the three. One out of the three. Sad times. I'm back with some scandalous showbiz news, including something involving a sausage and several celebrities. And I've got stories from the internet, including how one TV show has got some people hopping mad. You can always keep up with us because one of us refuses to run and the other can't, just search for at the Cud TV on your social media. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your podcast service or watch us on YouTube, where you can also subscribe by pressing on the bell. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked like on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the screen right now. A stargazer out late at night with eyes and thoughts turned both upright Tumbled by chance into a well, a dismal story this to tell. He roared and sobbed and roared again, and cursed the bear and Charles's wane. His woeful cries a neighbour brought, less learnt but wiser, far in thought. My friend, quoth he, you're much misled, with stars to trouble thus your head. Since you with these misfortunes meet, for want of looking to your feet. But what I want to know is how many marshmallows have you got in your mouth right now, Mike? <laughs> well, whilst Mike's got his gobble of marshmallows, let's play Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as following a fecundity of philanthropic proposals, he has purposely petitioned a prestigious patron to promise plentiful. Hang on, where's the usual <laughs> joke? This week we're going to play Foley Folly, and that is one for Lita excel at. So if you canter like a fine thoroughbred stallion on your way to the glue factory, I mean I'll explain the rules. Many sound effects in television and film are created by talented sound performers who are able to create a realistic auditory soundscape to match any action displayed on screen. Our version is almost entirely exactly unequivocally unlike that. Lee will be presented with some sound effects, and I have to try and fathom what he's trying to portray. Are you limbered up there, Lee? First one. Uh-huh. Is it George Formby? Yeah, it's not George Formby. Oh. Well, he... So yes, but no. No. <laughs> so what does George... Oh, a ukulele. It is a ukulele. Yeah, ukulele. Okay, next one. Mm-hmm. That's after you've eaten too much cheese. Kind of same vibe. vibe. Same vibe. <laughs> but not. So it's not explosive diarrhea? No. Okay. So. Oh no! Run! No, it's really hot. No. No? No. That, that's a, that was a volcano erupting. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Next one. <laughs> Cheers, sweetie. What was that? Holding it. Like that. Yeah. We've, we've Cheers, just done ejaculating. Not ejaculating. Cheers, sweetie. No? No. <sighs> Opening a bottle of champagne. Oh, okay. Why would you waste champagne? 
I wasn't wasting it. You went, Psh. And it always does that. It doesn't. Isn't it? Not if you open it properly. Okay. Oh, Jesus, Mary, Mother of God. It's none on a bicycle. <laughs> it is! <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot here. I wish we'd never. Oh, what about you? Where you are? Oh, yeah. Oh, I wish we'd. Oh, I wish we'd have packed something light. Like, like a thong. Oh, um. Oh, I've got an image of you in a thong. Um, uh, oh, I wish we'd have stayed in Antarctic now. Oh, could have a nice staycation. Oh. Is it a polar bear on holiday? Yes. Aren't polar bears in the Arctic rather than the Antarctic? Okay. I don't want to do it. Bees are flapping. My tongue. Oh, my tongue. Me. I have no idea what that would. That's you. pretty self-explanatory. Oh yeah, um, it's a man past his prime doing silly things on a TV show. You shady bitch! <laughs> <laughs> it's an elephant skydiving. It is an elephant skydiving. <laughs> he said it was self-explanatory. It's going to be one or the other. Okay. To be or not to be, that is the question. Forsooth. Other words. <laughs> Holding a skull. That's someone that doesn't know Shakespeare. Really. Yeah. Shakespeare. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that actually what it was? Yeah, it was Shakespeare. No, I said someone that didn't know what Sha didn't Well, know it had the word Shakespeare in it, so... Oh, OK. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> well, it was adjacent to the answer, so yes. that's what we're going yeah. for now. Right, OK. Yeah. I'm going to chop this tree down. Oosh. Oosh. Timber. Is it a lumberjack? Yes, it is. <sighs> OK. Oh, you didn't press your puzzle. Well, I didn't. Not really. Okay. No. I'm giving away points now. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Bow chicka bow wow. Oh, you're so big. Bow chicka wow wow. It's a sexy Weight Watchers meeting. That's a shady bitch <laughs> comment as well. <laughs> Is it a porn? Specific time era. Oh, I've let my pubes grow out massive. Lee last weekend. <laughs> Got the porn right. Okay. Decade we're looking for. Decade. 70s then. It is. It's a 70s porn. A 70s porn. Yes. Not a porno, a porn. A porn. It's a 70s a porn. porn. Yeah. Okay, right, next one. Oh, look at that. It's a bit of cheese. Oh, I like cheese. Oh, no, no, it's got me tail. Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm dead. Anything to do with a penis? No, Mike, it's not. No, then quite clearly it's going to be a mouse trap. It is. A mouse gets caught in a trap. <laughs> there we go. Okay, final one. Beep. 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 And see. My love life. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar. Okay. Yeah. Someone that died over a year ago. It's it, it's a heart rate monitor as a patient dies. Oh, okay. Ending on an upbeat note, I think. They don't, uh, they don't just go boop, though. They, they do alarms and stuff as well now. Do they? Yeah, to give your attention to the fact that this person might not be very well. I only have one set of vocal cords, Mike. I can't do multiple noises at the same time. Can't do multiples at the same time? <laughs> well, no. that's a rumour. No. Shall, we, shall we find out what scores you got? No, we don't do scores anymore. We don't care. No. Okay. No one gives a No one gives a shit anymore. Uh, still to come, we have our life lesson. But after the break, we have Lee and the showbiz.
Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we talk to the man whose OnlyFans is almost as popular as ours, but contains a lot more nudity. It's Lee and the Showbiz. My OnlyFans account keeps me in crispy pancakes. Ooh, I've not had a crispy pancake in years. You still do them? Obviously, they do. They do. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I pay for them for my only <laughs> only fans. Only yeah, fans. Yeah. I like the cheesy ones. I'm a meat person. Are you? I like the savoury. Did you ever get like a burn on your face yes. from when you were when you bit into a crispy pancake? A hundred percent. You could never wait. They come out the oven onto your plate and just um num num. And sometimes they were deceptively cool around the outside, and you yes. thought, oh, it's cool. It wasn't. It wasn't in the middle. No, like lava, like apple apple pie from McDonald's. Yeah, it's all of the scars. Yeah. Mm. Showbiz. Mm. Now, I'm a fan of certain drag queens. Okay, just certain ones. Just certain ones. Um, Who are you not a fan of, Lee? Most of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, Davina De Campo. Mm -hmm. Big fan of Davina De Campo. Yeah. Uh, but my uber favourite is Trixie Mattel. I do like Trixie. Yeah, I, I, I love a bit of Trixie Mattel. I love her doing her makeup shows on YouTube. I love her doing, uh, with Katya. Mm -hmm. And they've got a picture of them there. They're, they're on their like seventh season or something mm -hmm. of that now. Um, brilliant, love her. She's done massively well out of yes. Drag Race. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a multi-millionaire now because she has makeup, she has, mm -hmm. I think she's bought a bar. Oh, we've got a picture of her in her bar, in um, where she lives in her hometown. Yeah, she 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 does loads of stuff. Oh. We've got a picture of her and Katia as out of drag. That's because they're busy mates outside mm -hmm. of drag. You see, I I have a bit of a thing for Trixie Mattel out of drag. Do you? A little bit cute. Interesting. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, she's done loads and loads of stuff, but she has just now. Drag, drag show makeover programmes are kind mm -hmm. of one a penny, aren't they? We've had all sorts. Yeah. We've had, like, the UK versions. There was the one where they married people. They, like, organised the weddings. That was on one of the mm -hmm. channels. We've had various versions of kind of knockoffs of drag race, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, she's going to be doing her own reality makeover show. Ooh. And it's going to be called... It's a renovation series. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's called Trixie Motel. Oh, I see. See what they did there. Oh. There's, there's a promotion picture of it there. She just looks like a Barbie doll, doesn't she? With a lot of hair. With a lot of hair. And that's a very itsy bitsy teeny weeny blue polka dot bikini. Well, it's not a bikini. Is it not a bikini? So that's a, that's an all in. That's a swimsuit. A swimsuit. That's a swimsuit. Okay. So yeah. So what she's going to be doing is. So it's not filmed yet. It's going to happen next year. Okay. Her and her famous friends are going to take over this motel, this rundown motel, mm -hmm. and turn it into the glossiest drag motel of your wildest fever dreams. Ooh. I'm up for that. I'm up for that too. I'm kind of like a bit over all the making over people. Mm -hmm. I'm quite up for... Drag queen interior design. Yeah, and she's funny. So, yeah, that would be quite good. It's going to be a good show. It's going to be a good show. Um, according to the information online, it's expected to launch at the beginning of the year next year. Oh, that's a long time. I want so it now. A long time to wait. But in the meantime, you can watch episodes of... Okay. <laughs> she, do, she does um, a thing where she does um, those, ba those little mini oven, those kids' ovens, and she makes something in them and sees if they're nice. Oh, okay. Not. You don't care about that, do you? No. No, he's, he's not interested. No. <sighs> anyway, we've spoken about this many times before on the show. Is it about Chris Hemsworth? Oh, no. Hocus Pocus 2. Yes. It has been confirmed. It is coming. Lovely. In 2022. Now, this is not the official poster for Hocus Pocus 2. It's like a fan made right, okay. one. Um, it is coming back in 2022. So, Bette Midler mm -hmm. is coming back as Winifred. Mm -hmm. These are the original... Three witches. So we've got Sarah Jessica Parker, Bette Midler, and Kathy Najimsky. Mm -hmm. So that all three of them are coming back to reprise their roles as the witches. 
Um, we don't know kind of what the the story is going to be, but they've gone on to social, their social medias to kind of say, yes, we're doing it. She's kind of, she show, Beth Midler just put sisters on hers. Right. Have you watched Hocus Pocus? I have. Okay. All I right. had to watch it after it had been out of the cinema for quite a, a number of years because I'm so far too young. <sighs> well, originally it bombed at the cinemas. It was a yeah. flop, and then it kind of a flop, and then it <laughs> <not> flop, <laughs> and then it went onto like home video, and that's where it became really popular and became mm -hmm. a cult. It, it is very, very popular in the LGBTQI community. It is. There are many, many homosexuals dress up as those witches at Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah Jessica Parker put on her social media post. She said, "Can't wait to run amok, amok, amok," which is my favorite line. Um, the director, who's going to be doing the kind of remake of it, it's not a remake, it's like a sequel. She said, now more than ever, people need to laugh. We should be laughing every day, and there is so much fun to be had with these three unbelievable women playing delicious characters from such a beloved film. It's a bit like watching this show, really. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. We've got a picture. Now, now the kids that were in the original film are like in their like mid to late 30s now. Well, early 40s, surely. Do you think? Mm. Well, well, what year did the original come out, Lee? Um, it was like 94, I think, or oh, 95. It was, it was before then, like 82, wasn't it? No, you shit. What is it with the shade? Uh, it's a good job I've got this today. Because I'm using it a lot. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be in it in some form or another, as perhaps pair. I don't know. There's no, there's no information about that. So I'm very excited about that. It's oh. finally happening. Very excited so much that we need a mop. No, not in a sexy way. Just, in, just a nice way. Have you ever thought, do you know what I need in my life? I need pop culture icons recreated with sausages. Yes, I have. Yeah, I have all the time. Yeah, all the time. I, I, all I the time. continually think about um, Chris Evans. And, with um, his sausage out. With his sausage, yeah. Okay. Well, it's not quite like that. No. The, there, is a, there is a gentleman on, on Instagram. He's a, he's a pastry chef. See, I'm excited again now. Uh, you're excited again. Pastries, he's called, you got me going. <laughs> he's called Eric Vernawee. All right, now, yeah. He is, when he's, when he's doing his sort of pastry chef-y fancy stuff, uh -huh. it's kind of like a bit of light relief. <laughs> he creates these scenes using... <laughs> You use the words like relief and not expect me to laugh. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> with with hot dog sausages. We've um, all had some light relief we from all hot all dog had, sausages yeah. before now. Yeah. So I've got some pictures of them and I'm gonna see if you can guess what films or kind of iconic scenes they create. Right, okay. Okay. So the first one we have got is this. <laughs> That's the movie Teeth. No, it's not. You no, know, because if you look at the bread bun. Yeah, no, these are like famous films. That's a famous That's film. That's a niche film. Do you know what that is, Mike? Is it... Is it Jaws? It is Jaws. Very good. Next one mm -hmm. we have here. You, you must get this one, next one. So... It's not a poster of them, but it's a character from the film. Right, okay. There's only one film I could think of with that hair, with that hair of flowers. Okay. And that is Priscilla Queen of the Desert. It is. What have we got here then? A couple of showgirls. That wasn't a good accent either. No, it wasn't. You never do good accents though, so why are we that. surprised? In my head it sounds spot on. Okay, let's have another one up. <laughs> the voices in my head always are right as well. Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise as hot yeah. dogs. Or yeah. Lady Gaga and Bianca K. Knowles. It could in, be. In um, Telephone. It could be. But it's not. Okay, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Because they were inside a van in the telephone okay. video. This is clearly Thelma and Louise. They're clearly hot dogs. They're clearly hot dogs. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's have another one and see. That's a bit racy, isn't it? Do, do. Draw me like one of your French hot dogs. Do the, do the tune again. Do, 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 do. I was going to say Titanic till I heard that mess. What's that? That that was the theme tune to Titanic. Na, 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 yeah. And the good thing about that is, if you ever mishear the lyrics to um, "The Heart Will Go On," you can actually sing the words "My Hot Dog Goes On." Oh, I believe that the hot dog goes on. And it literally did in that photograph. Yeah. Very clever. Very yeah. clever. Yeah. 
So yeah, he's created these amazing. You can go onto his Instagram, and he's uh -huh. got loads and loads and loads and loads. Oh, okay. Of different ones. So he does this for light relief. He does it for a bit of light relief. Because they look quite intense to me. There's a lot of work gone into them. There's a lot of work. Yeah. Do you fancy manipulating your sausage? I could I could manipulate my, my sausage, yeah. Very good. Yeah. And on that note, I shall I shall end the showbiz news right there. Oh, right, okay. Well thank you very much, Lee. Um, oh. Hello, Wong's Deli, you buy it, we fry it. Sorry, that's my other job. Oh, okay. Um, the gallery have kindly got a picture of Eric. Have Would we? we like to see this mysterious oh, yes, French? Please. It's someone called Eric that they've got a picture of, so they think that's oh. him. He looks like a patisserie chef. Okay. He's he got a white jacket. Like kind on. of man to manipulate sausages. Well, people people say that about me, Lee, so yeah. But anyway. Oh, wow. Maybe it is, maybe, maybe it, it is, isn't. maybe it isn't. Who the knows? Gen the gentleman's called Eric, that's all we know. And he likes a sausage. Who doesn't? Well, thank you, Lee. It's always nice to see someone's having fun with their sausage. But coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who, like the Kings of Leon once sang, sex is on fire. We can't put it out. It's Mike and the Buzz. Not since I've taken the tablets and put the new cream on, it's not. What's that burning smell then? That'll be you. Ah. <laughs> I was going to say, we all know that witches burn. Ooh. <laughs> oh no, I failed to thwop. <laughs> Not the Shit. first time he said he's done it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Not even today. Well, you know when you like to park your automobile? Some say it's parking, some say it's just abandoning. <laughs> Random abandonment, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you ever check to make sure your parking is somewhere legal, or do you just throw it in like a school car park or wherever you want? Wherever I lay my car, that's my home. <laughs> I just abandon it wherever there is a space. Well, one gentleman has been, has been a bit cheeky. Has he? He's parked and got clamped. Mm. Do you know what he did with the clamp? He stuck it up his ass. No, it's not that kind of show. It is that kind of show, I'm lying. <laughs> so he removed the clamp and then chained it to a lamppost. They're not easy things to get off. They're, they're not, unless you know how to get them off. Oh, unless you're in the know. If you're in the know, you can get them off. You're in the know, you're in the know. Mm -hmm. So he's charged them £581. And have they paid? Um, no, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. But it's, Just... uh, it's, it's in his garden. Oh. Right. So he's waiting. So the telegraph pole's in his garden. Okay. Yeah. So it's chained up there so he can keep an eye on it. Right. Yeah. I mean, if he was parked illegally, then, you know, just, just, just pay, pay you. Yeah. Uh, well, what he said is my car is a lifeline for my family. They just hide behind unfair rules and pocket the cash. Well, if you've parked illegally, then you've Don't parked park illegally. Don't park illegally. Is my, yeah, it's my, my thing. Mm. But, yeah. So we're, we're waiting for Lee to be the next episode in this particular story. Um, but moving on quite quickly, okay, um, to graffiti. Mm. How do you feel about graffiti? I've got my own tag. Really? Mm. What is it? Skin? Princess Sparkle Princess Unicorn. Princess Sparkle Unicorn. Yeah. If you ever see that, you know you're in a rough area. <laughs> oh my house. I was going to say, or an enchanted wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But when you see other people doing graffiti, do you, do you think it's art or is it just people being vandals? It depends the quality of, of said graffiti. If it's nice, mm. then I think, well, that's lovely. So like a Banksy? Yeah. Or, you know, I've seen other ones where people have put like proper, proper murials up. No, Muriels um, are things. Are they um, terrible? They're terrible, <laughs> <Norial>. <laughs> um, If it's just, you know, a, a cock and balls yeah. spurting jizz out the top, then that's not very, you know. But is that not art? <sighs> well, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, no. No. Well, one Bulgarian artist, um, Vanio Kristev. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> has been bringing random objects in the street to life. Has he? Yes, by putting googly eyes on them. Oh, our producer will be nice. <laughs> he will, indeed. So, if we have a look there, you've got an example as a road sign. Just okay. pop two little googly eyes on to make it into a face. Yeah. How do you feel about that? That's a bit... It's a bit... It's all right, isn't it? It's not, you know, it's not world shattering. It's not... But is it art? Who can say, yeah? I'm asking you. Are you asking me? I um, physically just said, is it art? <laughs> with a question mark. Would I put it up in my living room? No. Okay. But would you put graffiti up in your living room? Yeah, if it was nice. Yeah, so not a cock and balls, spurting jizz. No. No. That's in the bedroom. <laughs> Obviously. In the boudoir. In the boudoir. Uh, well, we've yeah. got another one where he's stuck some, some eyes somewhere. Okay. Have a look. <laughs> so that's on a bus handle. I mean, it makes me smile. It makes you smile. And if that's all it achieves, then that's a job well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I have another one that's a little bit more um, serious. Okay. Stuck it on a tree. <laughs> Again, it makes me smile. It, it, and that's the kind of thing, like, if you were a parent of a really naughty child, uh -huh. you'd, like, drive past them and go, if you don't behave, I'm going to feed you to that. All right, okay. Tree <laughs> monster. I'd be encouraging children to do it. Yeah. There is, a, there is a thing where you go around on stick. I mean, I'm not going to condone this because it, it's, you know, it is, it is vandalism and graffiti, yeah. But sticking googly eyes on statues and stuff. I think, we should, I think if, if that's your level of... of Maturity. I was going to say vandalism. <laughs> yeah, I would much prefer to see googly eyes on stuff yeah. than, like, Rob was here. Yeah. Don't, br don't break anything. Don't ruin anything. That's enhancing everything, surely, googly eyes. Yeah, quite possibly, yeah. yeah. Do you ever think about being able to change your identity on whim? Like, I, I do. Do you? How do you achieve that? Weekly. How do you achieve that? Burn off the first layer of skin on my fingers. Okay, but people still recognise you. you. You'd think they would, mm. but surprisingly, once I've taken that first layer of epidermis off, nobody knows who I am. All right, okay. Well, um, there's another way you can do it without having to remove your skin. Oh. And that's you can actually buy a face mask. A face mask? A face mask. And so I have got some face masks here. Oh, no, not those hideous... Oh, so God, you know, I've seen this. This one's for you. And this one's for me. So you just... It smells that, bad, mate. That's because they're made of silicone. So you just... When you think, I need to go out, but I don't want anyone to spot me, you can just pop your face mask on. Who is going to recognise me? You've just put a wig on. <laughs> That's all you've done. Okay, so you want me to put this one on then, yeah. do you? Is this like a set? I don't like this. Have you put talcum powder in it? I have indeed. Oh, God. There you go. Pop it down. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. So, you, you could go out and. <laughs> it, needs, it needs hair. Huh? What? It needs hair. It needs hair. You're right, it does need hair. And just, just by that, Lee also has a wig. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> wig on standby. I'm gone. Just in case. I'm hair out of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And now you could go out and no one would ever be able to recognise no, you. No, wouldn't. It would be terrified of me. But <laughs> no who I am. I'm right, I thought, oh, I'm going to I can't, I can't talk. <laughs> Shall we de deface? There we go. Look, I look like Duncan Goodhue. <laughs> you do without the mask on as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. They're great, those, aren't they? No, they're hideous. They're, um, they stink. Well, that's because I've already been wearing them. Oh, it's like, is it like, are they called living dolls? Yes, they are called the living, they are actually from a sex shop. Uh, <laughs> so they're, they're for fantasies. Um, so this is, <laughs> this is for, for people that have a, uh, shall we say, a, a fantasy about the elderly lady. Wayne Rooney. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's for a younger lady, and it, as you rightly said, it needs a wig. To be fair, it could be either either lady or gentleman. No, it's a lady. It is a lady. Yes. It's not pretty. Uh, they're not. They're not pretty. 
You've not spent a huge amount on these, have you? Mark? I haven't, surprisingly. They were only £10 for the pair. Re £10 <laughs> for the pair? Yes. Oh. And that included the wig on this one. Oh, wow. Well, you know. Why would that's you very That's very Mrs. Doubtfire. That, <laughs> it is. Hello, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah. So, yeah. And if you want to send us something, and cake is always welcome, just comment, tag, or slide into our DMs. We are at the Could TV on your ever-present social media platforms. Now let's move on to our story of the week. Do you watch Spring Watch? No. No, you not. I would have thought that would have been your thing. It's boring. Is it? Got a little bit racy the other week. Did it? Did it? Too. Did indeed. Staff inch. Staff inches. Staff inches. A staff inch. A Staffordshire Bull Terrier across and the a chaff inch. Inch. <laughs> So a dog and a bird, yeah, yeah. Not Honey. quite as graphic as that, but they did get complaints. Did they? Why, they did, Mike? As they were shocked by hardcore hair porn Ooh. before the watershed. And this was basically watching two hares, so rabbits, at it. Hares are a different species to yes. rabbit, aren't they? But they're so we've actually in the last got... few days. And again, oh. it's not something that I've ever seen, not because it's difficult to see. It happens in the open, as you can see here, but simply because I don't live in a part of the country where there are many of these animals left. So the males mate with them, and we know that the females only ovulate once they've started copulating. So, yeah. Good technique. The good technique, and you could tell that it was finished by the whole... Ta-da! Yeah. From the, from the boy hair. Yeah, Nature programmes have been going on for decades, mm -hmm. and they always show animals getting on. But this was before the watershed. But does it really? There was no peen. <laughs> There's no peen, but you quite there was no what's rabbit peen. You know what's going on, though. Yeah, but they weren't just. The you can't pass that off as a, set, a special cuddle. Or they were playing leapfrog. I spent many a, a happy childhood evening watching elephant. <laughs> but some genius went. This is hardcore porn. It needs to sound like hardcore porn. Oh, sounds And so did this to it. So yeah, put porn music behind it. They needed to put like a, a voiceover. Like, oh, yeah, <laughs> Nobody's ever been in me so deep. Well, thanks, Mike. I I, I see my future career in animal pornography. <laughs> Voiceover is not actually doing the pornography. <laughs> well, thank you, Lee. Stay tuned, because after this is our life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. You've been warned and you're still here. It's your own fault. It's this week's... Life Lessons. We've got another culinary life lesson this week. Oh, right? I do enjoy culinary. You do? So we've in the past we've made chocolate soup. Yeah. Winner. Mm -hmm. Millennial pie. Uh-huh. Not so. You like that. I know I like that. Yeah, you I didn't, didn't like it. it tasted you like weren't feet. keen on it. Um, have we made anything else? Food-wise? We, we've done things with food, like we did those dog bananas. Yes, okay. So apparently, I mean, do you, do you like a crisp butty? I love a crisp butty. A crisp butter? Yes. So normally, mm -hmm. crisp butter is you just get a packet of crisps, bit of bread, slap it between. No, no, crisp butty is more, more planned than that. You can't just slap crisps on bread. Well, Mike, apparently you are correct. Yeah. Because a purveyor of all things culinary, mm -hmm. Sainsbury's, Oh, nice. Has come up with a definitive way of making the ultimate crisp sandwich. Oh. Um, the key ingredient to crisp butty, surprisingly, it's is the crisps. crisps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there are many different kinds of crisps. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we've got a selection of crisps, yeah. unusual flavoured crisps. Unusual Nothing flavor. particularly horrible. Oh. No. Not like toe flavoured or... Taint flavoured, anything. Oh, well, I mean, that is your favourite crisp. It is favorite. my favourite favourite crisp. Yeah. Um, so, in front of you, you have three pots containing um, different flavoured crisps. Okay. One, two, so, three. Do you, can you find the one that's number one? one. Uh, number one? Is it having number one written on the lid underneath it? It's number one. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> One, two, three. One. Would you like to, I mean, it's up to you whether you just put it in your mouth and taste it or whether you want to smell it first. Okay. Wow, that's great, um, Tilly. It's, um, I'm not sure. You know, get, get, you know like, is it like wine? Can you kind of like... It tastes a bit meaty. Meaty? A bit meaty, like smoky meaty. Smoky meat. I'm mm. going to say that smoky meaty bacon flavour. Smoky meaty bacon flavour. Mm. That kind of, yeah. Okay. That apparently mm -hmm. is haggis and cracked black pepper. So smoky meaty then. Smoky meaty, is that? Smoky is, meaty, yeah. ha is haggis smoky? Smoky meaty, yeah. <laughs> is it smoky meaty one more time? Smoky meaty. Smoky meaty. Smoky meaty bacony. Yeah, that's haggis. We've not had haggis before. No. Smoky meaty bacon. Vile. Um, so that is that is one flavour. Okay. Okay. If you'd like to move on to to uh, one. selection two. Okay. This one's got little green flecks on, so it's going to have a herb or vegetable on it. <laughs> You're getting any getting any aromas? Uh -huh. Don't like it when you do that with your tongue. No, you don't. I'm getting like a, a chickeny flavour on this chickeny. one. Chickeny. Chickeny. And lemongrassy. Better than like a lemongrass. Mm. Mm. I'm going to say chicken and lemongrass. Chicken and lemongrass? Mm. It is in fact aromatic Thai green curry. Which contains lemongrass. Mm. Okay. There I'm you doing go. well here. Okay, you're doing two well. Two, yeah. Okay, would you like to move on to the final one? Though? I wouldn't, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? Okay. Smells like a crisp. Smells like a crisp. Tastes like a crisp. What? You've asked me to taste them. Not my love to them. What are you getting out from those, Mike? This is a bit... I can still taste the curry one. You still taste the curry. Perhaps you should have a, should have a little drink of, 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 of liquid between them. So cleanse one's palate. <laughs> cleanse my palate. Yeah. It's a nice cold coffee. Yeah, I love cold coffee. Are we getting anything at all? Cold coffee. Cold coffee. They're not cold coffee flavoured crisps. It's a bit cheesy. A bit cheesy? A bit cheesy. Okay. I think, I think your palate's been compromised. Probably. It's all the sperm that's been on it over the past few years. <laughs> and you know what? I nearly picked up a packet of flavoured crisps. I'd have got them straight off. Yeah, I know. You can them take. Wouldn't, wouldn't have even bothered to taste it. I'd gone. Okay. Well, what, what's this supposed to be then? So this is apparently crispy bacon and maple syrup. Oh, you're not getting that. No. Okay, so I'm which, still getting curry. You, which ones? Are, which one of those do you like the most to, to make into your sandwich? Well, the only one I can taste now, which is this one with the lemongrass in it. It's the lemongrass. So you're going to go yeah. for the lemongrass. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going. I'm going to go for the. I'm going to go for the crispy bacon because I don't like the sound of either of the have others. Have you not tried the haggis ones? No. Try the haggis ones. Haggis ones. Haggis ones, which is smoky meaty bacon. -y. Or if I'm doing it like you. I didn't go that quick. I, I, I massaged it with my tongue. It doesn't really taste of anything. Like meat. I can taste the pepper. Yeah, it tastes the meat too. Right, okay, so yeah, so we've, right. got, we've got bread. So, according to Sainsbury's, Mm -hmm. This is the way of making your ultimate crisp sandwich. Okay. So you don't just go for ordinary bread. No, never do. You have to go for either a ciabatta. A ciabatta, yeah. Or a multi-seeded bap. I would go for a ciabatta. You're going to go for the ciabatta. You need that little bit of strength. Do you? you get strength. Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, you know, for diversity, I'm going to go for the multi-seeded batch. Okay. Okay. So I've pre-cut them. I, I've noticed that's very handy, but there's something missing on here. What? Butter. Well, I haven't brought any butter in. Because I forgot. Okay. But they recommend slightly salted dairy cow stuff. Butter. <laughs> butter. Butter. Yeah. Yeah. I would not, recommend not your, butter. Not your Margie spread. Proper butter. Oh yeah, it's got to be butter. Um, but so imagine there's butter on there. Okay. We have some sweet pickle. That's not poop in the middle of there. That's sweet pickle. And pickle. you need to put a little bit on both sides. Pickle on a curry sandwich. Yeah. I'm going to have to... Oh, okay. Now, I have gone a little bit off-piste with this because th the crisps that they recommend are a very good quality salt and vinegar. 
So I'm bringing crisps all the way for a crisp boy. Okay. And then the question is, when you do your crisps, are you going to do a pre-crush? A pre-crush? Yeah, pre-crush. I'm just going to put them on and then crush it. Well, ah, you see, that's the problem that you're going to have because the crisps are quite strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So if you have a crisp that's sat that upright in your bread, you're going to hurt your hand. I'm not going to stick it upright. No, but as you just dump them on, so you have to give them a bit of a crush first before you put them on. Wow. So... You're the one getting us to make crisp sandwiches. Yeah, but they didn't give us specific ways of laying the crisps on the bread. They should do. So now you want to put on some foliage. So we've got some some leaf stuff. <laughs> salad. It's called salad leaf. It's, I think it's rocket. Um, it's not rocket. Is it this not is, rocket? This is beetroot. Beetroot and something else. Um, watercress. Oh. It's watercress there. That's fancy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's peppery. Yeah. And then we've got some cheese. I like cheese. M mm, I can't remember what it was. M macadamia. M macadamia. Macadamia nut cheese. Yeah, macadamia nut cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna split it in half, and have one one bit on that side. Oh, it's I, I, to be fair, I would just eat that without any crisps. This is cheese sandwich. Mm. But that's not the idea of the segment. No, because <laughs> who'd want to watch anybody make a cheese sandwich oh, when they could watch them making a crisp sandwich? Right, and then now you add your crisps, your crisps. Okay. So me, I would just plonk them on, but you, you obviously have you a need way to do of pre-crush. Yeah. What? You need to, so you can't just, so you have to crush them first, really. So you have to do a bit of a squeeze. Oh, I'm not doing that. Right, and then put them on. Because you don't want a crisp to jab your hand. Right. Okay. Now it says, you know, a few, a fair few. Uh-huh. Fold, then put your lid on. Crush don't it down. Crush it down. There we go. And there you go. You've got your, you've got your crisp or tea. Uh-huh. I think the only thing left to do is to taste it. Ooh! What a mouthful. Mm-hmm. Got an errant leaf. I think, I think we'll just call that a day. There's no more words to say about that. Well, there's a lot more words to say about oh, that. Okay, here we go. Because that's a very dry sandwich you not put any butter in. Well, I, I admit that was a mistake I did make. Right. That, that Sainsbury's have said you use this to your batter. Yeah. Right. And it's far too dense. It's not lovely and fluffy. So you've got, you got a good heft in the bread when you squeeze it, so you crush the crisps together. But then it's just, it's, eh, it's dense. It needs to be fluffy bread, or this grilled, popped on a on a, a panini machine. That'd be a fit. I think. Have you got an erection under the table? Not in the minute. Not in the minute, but it sounds like the way you're talking. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Just going back to eating a crisp. Just that yummy. Oh. They are tasty crisps. Mm. But that brings us to the end of this week's show. We've got just enough time to say find us on your social media platforms. Look for The Could TV, and our website is thecud.tv. And while you're there, have a look at our support section for extra content, including outtakes. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.